Hey guys, welcome to Moonlight Shadows. This is going to be all signs for the collective earth, air, fire, water. So, timestamps are in the description box below. This is going to be a general message for every sign as far as the elements. So, this card is going to be for Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. So watch the pile or piles you're drawn to the most. But once again, Earth, Air, Fire, and Water. We're going to get started. Timestamps in the description box below. Okay, Earth Signs. This is a message for the collective. Angels, guides, positive energies only. Where are the messages for the Earth Signs? For the collective, this is a timeless reading. You guys are going to have a connection very, very soon. If you're not already in one, if you're in a relationship, things are getting better. If you're not in a relationship, expect to be in one soon. I'm also getting for those of you who are not interested in a relationship, you're going to come into alignment with your higher self. You're going to reach a higher level of consciousness. There is a change for the better when it comes to how you interact with your relationships, whether those are friendships, romantic interests, relationships as a whole. There is a change for the better. It's coming into union, seeing eye to eye. A better understanding of yourself, connecting to your higher self, third eye crown chakra, spiritual changes. And for those of you who are in a relationship, it becomes more serious, more stable. If you are dating, you could get engaged, or if you're engaged, you're going to get married. Like There's something more stable that happens here. You could be very emotional the next few days. Earth signs, remember to ground yourself. Remember to connect to the element of earth because you are an earth sign. Go outside, go outdoors, ground yourself, focus, do something that is going to keep your mind on that particular task that you're doing instead of wandering. A wandering mind tends to lose focus and that's what you need to stop doing, 222. Come back into alignment with yourself, 222 angel number for you earth signs. Let me know if that resonates. I'm also see you cutting cords with the past and welcoming new connections, friendships. There's something about relationships that's going to be playing a really big part in the next coming days for you or weeks, earth signs. Okay. That's what I have for you. Let me know if that resonates. Comment down below if this was helpful. Give me a like if you like this reading. This was the message for the earth signs. Okay air signs you guys are up three minute mark the power of three mind body and spirit or the number three could be significant for you air signs gemini libra aquarius sun moon rising venus or you may just be drawn to watch this entire video okay air signs wow you guys you have a strong telepathic connection to your spiritual team to i heard different dimensions to different energetic connections, to star seeds, Syrians, Lemurians, you have a connection to a past life, a soulmate, 333 angel number. Some of you guys, I'm getting you have a soulmate who passed away, but you still feel them energetically. They will always be with you. They're always, I'm hearing a song, Angel of Love by Monica, or Angel of Mine, I think that's what it's called. You guys have a strong soul tie to someone. And even if they've passed or they knew you in a past life, they're with you in spirit. They are your guardian angel. Your heart yearns for this person, but they aren't reincarnated in this lifetime. You have a new connection, and it's a beautiful um, relationship. Again, two of the moon. I feel like something is going on within your mental, emotional well-being here. The moon is Luna, lunacy, and tends to trip us up a little bit, air signs. So be mindful of putting up boundaries, nurturing your soul, shadow work, inner secrets revealed to you about yourself. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you guys are starting to see the truth about something, 444. It's a little bit scary to tap into your spirituality. The way that you are but things are going to shift in alignment the time is now you are protected as you go through different transitions as far as you changing 
letting go of the old you and welcoming the new you. I see you guys going through a spiritual transformation, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. You may have a small social circle, but I feel the universe or your spiritual team is bringing you the right people, your right soul family to take care of you. And some of this soul family is spiritual, not just um, people, humans in the 3D. You also have um, star seeds. I'm getting Palladian Syrians. Um, star seeds for sure, intergalactic energies for some of you, but it's like DNA code, like code activations. You guys are definite star seeds, um, otherworldly. It's not anything heavy, negative, or scary. It's more just like feeling peace, calm, illuminated, and feeling like a refreshing energy that's going to revitalize you. But you do need some alone time. You guys could scry in the water with a crystal or in the mirror if you are experienced with that. Um, I'm getting more of like crystal, gazing into a crystal ball or going near the ocean if you can, but it's like, or staring at a bowl of water. There's like something about water. The element of water is significant. Um, the moon is in Pisces, or it was, and we were in Pisces season now. So even though it's a timeless reading, it's like the Pisces element. Look up your, um, I'm hearing third house. I don't know if that makes sense. That's what I'm hearing. Third or sixth house in Pisces, or you could have a moon in Pisces. But it's like you are going through significant changes, an emotional level of your releasing and purging out emotions that you didn't know were still bottled up in your aura, and it's going to help you transition and level up into the new phase, a new chapter in your spiritual journey. All about your spirituality, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you're starting to reflect, doing the shadow work, healing yourself, and now it's like you're going through another spiritual level of a transformation. It's a beautiful energy. It's like you are becoming one with who you truly are. And you're starting your spiritual path or you're going up another level of spiritual enlightenment. That's what I have for you here. Secrets are being revealed about your spiritual gifts. Answers to questions you didn't know you had prior to. Um, which is Gemini Libra Aquarius. So let me know if that resonates there. Coming into union with the twin flame or divine counterpart as well. I'm also seeing a path being made clear. It's like there's something that's going to happen it's like a really huge change like moldavite energy like it's like whoa like your your whole world transforms it's like one minute you're making ten dollars an hour and now you're making a hundred thousand an hour it's like a big shift um that's you know an example not literally you guys but it's like there's a big change for the better okay just know that you have good things coming air signs so please like and subscribe let me know if that resonates so earth, air, fire, which is Aries and Sagittarius. Okay, move that to the side. Aries and Sagittarius at the 808 angel number. Oof. Okay, let go of the past, you guys. Stop dwelling on the past. The coulda, shoulda, wouldas. I'm also getting you or somebody else. Um, take what resonates. Somebody is spying, copying, mimicking. Be an original. Do not copy others. You won't be successful. Um... Whoever this is, you know, put yourself on whatever side of the story this is. Someone is trying to copy you, spy on you, sends you the evil eye. Stop doing this. It's not going to help you. It doesn't benefit you to, like, watch competition or watch somebody else be successful. It's like, focus on yourself. Let go of the past. If a friendship comes around that was toxic, let it go, you guys. This is a warning of, like, do not engage or interact with anyone from your past that is going to, you know they're going to hold you back. Aries Leo Sagittarius energy here is like, don't let past negative connections resurface. Do not repeat the past 9-11. Archangel Michael is protecting you, whether you have somebody coming towards you or this is you, fire signs. Take what resonates because I'm reading for a lot of people, but it's like, Whoever this is that's spying, don't interact with them. If you have to block people, put boundaries, go ahead and do so. Whoever this is, I see heavy evil eye or just gossiping energy, wanting to know what you're up to, trying to copy or mimic you. Whatever this is, cut cords, let it go. Do not repeat the past and do not go back to anyone who was hurtful or negative because you will repeat a karmic cycle this could be someone that you had a past life with 
and they're only here to cause trouble, so stay away from whatever this is, okay? That's what I have for you, fire signs. Please like and subscribe. Also getting sacral chakra and root chakra energies are very important. All of your chakras here tend ten, so you might need to do like a chakra cleanse, a meditation, or use selenite to cleanse your chakras, but I do see some type of chakra healing for you here, fire signs. So please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. We're gonna get to pile number four, which is the water element, which is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So here we go. Water signs, general messages. What do you need to know? You have someone in spirit who watches you. An angel, a guardian. I'm also seeing that you are really going through a spiritual awakening. The phases of the moon can really affect you, water signs. You're protected by a higher power. You have a guardian angel that protects you or a spirit guide that protects you, 1101. As I say that, you are a strong manifester, so make sure that you're focusing on the right things. I'm also getting cleanse yourself more regularly because you could have people um, trying to attach their negative energy or you pick up on their negative energy. If you're a strong empath, as most water signs are, highly gifted, psychic, and intuitive, so make sure you're shielding yourself by the white light of the Holy Spirit or just shielding yourself somehow, some way. Because I feel that um, you have a lot of spiritual abundance or you have a lot of success, positive energy, and there are people who are trying to mooch off of this energy and try to use it for their benefit, and they may just want to be around you for no reason, and then you feel their bad karma or their low vibrational energy. It kind of wants to attach itself to your aura, so you need to cleanse um, smudging, incense, uh, cleansing sprays, Florida water, sage, palo santo, dragon's blood, frankincense, whatever you're drawn to, or taking spiritual baths as well with like, um, Rudaru, those are good cleansing, cleansing things that you can do there. Um, so yeah, I'm getting cleanse yourself, drink more water, stay hydrated. Trust your intuition. Um, you may have someone that could be trying to create a blockage. Or could be sending you, for some of you, not all of you, could be sending you the evil eye. You will know if this applies to you. So I'm seeing an egg cleanse that you're doing that's going to help heal you. That is going to help release anything negative that anyone sends to you. So for you, a pile um, four, which is like a water sign, it's Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Highly psychic and intuitive. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or heavy placements in your natal chart. You guys need to do more cleanses, whether that's egg cleanses. Um, spiritual baths or incense cleansing, but you need to cleanse yourself more because there's people that are hating on you, um, people that want what you have, people that are trying to block your path. A road opener 1313 as I see that, and that could be helpful for you guys. <clears throat> I'm also seeing, um, I heard a meditation with the divine, so your spiritual team. They want you to meditate more with them, but you are being protected by a higher power for sure. Because this is kind of giving me like an all-seeing eye. Some of you guys could be like left-hand path, master of the occult. Um, take what resonates there. Some of you guys could be into a very strong um, magical connection here. Or you could be a part of a coven for some of you, not all. But I do feel that you are protected from anyone with low vibrational energy that's trying to give you bad energy is going to get mirrored back to them because you have strong protection here water signs so just be mindful that you need to cleanse yourself because this energy that you guys might feel sometimes where you feel like lightheaded or you feel like you're stuck or you're in a funk it's not your energy 14 14 angel number it's somebody else projecting this onto you on purpose or this is you picking up other people's energy because you're a strong empath and you're not realizing that you need to shield yourself more okay so shield yourself. Uh, some of you guys might be mediums. I'm seeing spirits want to come through, but I'm like, nope, I'm not ready for you guys, sorry. It's like you could be helping spirits cross over, and they are going to be watching you as a form of gratitude to protect you. 1441, I heard returning this favor. <clears throat> Strong protection energy for sure. I'm also hearing the Eye of Horus. You guys could be Egyptian. We're connecting to Egyptian energies here. Water signs, but either way... 
um, protection changes, loving yourself more, taking care of yourself more, coming into union of love for yourself or with a person. Take what resonates there, but I do see this more as strong spiritual protection and you needing to cleanse yourself and tap into your third eye or connecting to your ancestors, 1515, as I said that, because they have messages of wisdom for you. So that's what I have for you, collective. Let me know if that resonates. Please like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and I send you all many blessings. Bye.